Um, great to be here. Please note that I normally stand on a stage as well, um, but in front of a, a different crowd um, with CD players, a mixer, and I'm saying three to four words max. Uh, the only thing I say is like, put your hands up. <laughs> so uh, this is totally new for me. Uh, speaking for an audience like this is totally new, so I should say let's give it a try. My talk is called Turning Into a Superstar DJ. And um, I'm not sure if I feel like a superstar. Um, I feel like a DJ though, and um, I'm here to tell a little bit about my journey, you know. Um, turning into a superstar DJ. I was 12 years old when I started. 12 years old when my music, my love for electronic music started. And um, I was just in the car listening to some music on the back seat, actually. And I was listening to a, a track by Chiesto, a big DJ from Holland as well. And um, he had this track called Traffic, so let's take a listen. So, um, I was in, in love immediately. Still, when I hear it right now, I love it. It's, it's an amazing track, and as a 12-year-old kid, I didn't hear anything about electronic music before I heard this song. So this was the first time I heard electronic music, and I was hooked. I wanted to become a DJ when I heard this track. And, you know, I went uh, home, I went to YouTube, discovering a lot of uh, electronic music. And I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to become a DJ and producer. So uh, I started to save some money, buy a DJ set, and um, I was practicing it. I was mixing music every day. Every day I was in my room mixing music, but I felt like I was missing something. I missed creating music. I missed to create my own sound, my own. I wanted to play music, but also play my own music. And that was the part that I missed something. I was a DJ, but I was not a producer. So that's the difference. A DJ plays music and a producer makes his own music. And I wanted to do both. So my father, he's in the audience as well, he, um, he saw that I was missing that. And he noticed that some way. And he said to me, Julian, I've got this software for you. It's called FL Studio. You can make music with it. You can produce music with it. I think it's something for you. So he bought the software and he gave it to me. And I was hooked as well. I was making music every day in my bedroom, in my home studio. I was making music. Just, it didn't sound that good at all. It didn't sound good, but I didn't give up. And that's the most important part. I didn't give up. I was proud that I created something myself. And I know it didn't sound as good as Chesto's track, but I knew it was my own. And that was the part that I was proud of. I made my own record. And I kept practicing, 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 and every day I kept making music. I became a member of online forums where you could send your music to other people, share your music with other producers and DJs as well. Um, back in the day, I was on the same forum as, for instance, Hardwell, Martin Garrix. We were all together on that forum sharing music with each other. So it's not a bad thing if you want to become a DJ to be part of those online uh, platforms. So I was putting my music out online, forums, internet, social media, Twitter, SoundCloud. And it took me three years till I got my first contract. My first contract was with Spinning Records, a, a big Dutch um, a dance music company. And they said, Julian, we want your track released. For me, as a 15-year-old kid, it was a dream coming true. Imagine a soccer club going to a, soccer, uh, a big soccer club, going to a small soccer club, saying to a really young kid, we want you to play for our soccer team. That's a dream coming true for a lot of boys and girls. <laughs> so, <laughs> same mistake, <laughs> sorry. Um, for me, it was a big dream as well, but it didn't work out that well. So I wanted to become a DJ producer. And um, Spinner Records contacted me. It was a dream coming true. I released my first track back then called Rock Steady. Let's take a listen to that right now. So, 
So that was the first track I ever released as a 15-year-old kid. Um, when I hear it back, I don't, I'm not really proud of it, but I'm still proud that it's actually my own track. So um, I got a contract. I got a DJ name called Julian Jordan. And that was just it. That was my hobby. I was, I was on school back then, and I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know how serious this business was, and I didn't know how serious my life was going to change. You know, how, how is a DJ producer living? I didn't know. I was 15 years old. I didn't went to a club. I didn't went to a festival. It was not possible as a 15-year-old kid. So I didn't have any experience as a DJ. And all of a sudden, my life changed. My life completely changed. And I, I didn't know how to react to that, you know. There's a few things that happened the past years. I'm 22 right now, so let's take a look at my last few years. It's, it's really short, but I'm going to give you guys a, a, a quick view of how that looks. Julian Jordan. This is the part that most people see. These are the highlights of my career. And that's amazing to show to you guys because this is the thing I work for every day. But there are some things that I, need, that I needed to know before I started and I want to share with you guys. I want to share this with the people that want to become a DJ producer as well. This is something really important. Music may sound simple, but it's one of the most important things as a DJ producer. You have to keep making music. You have to keep making good music, music that you like, music that you want to make. And you have to keep working. Even though I'm touring, you know, I'm, I'm maybe in a different country every week. I have to think about my music. I have to keep making music because there's so much other DJs that want to break through that I have to make music myself as well every day. So music is very important. I have to think about that every day. Every day when I'm in a plane, every day when I'm at home, I have to think about that. So then we're coming to the next point, success. When you make good music, you get a lot of success, you hope. You work for success, that's what you work really hard for. That's something you like, you like success, because that's at the end what you want. But success can have, it, can have its downsides too. Success can be very lonely. And you have to think about a team around you, you know? Success is super important, but if you don't have a good team around you, it's nothing. And I'm talking about family and friends. I'm talking about my father. He is still a big part of my team. He is still in the business with me because I can trust him 100%. And during these past years, I've built a team around me with people I trust. And it may take some time, but please note that building a team around you with people that you trust is really important because they know me for who I am. They don't see me as an artist. They don't see the movie I just, they don't see those, 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 those movies. They just see me as, a, as the person that I am. And that's super important. Also, you change a little bit from success and you don't want that to happen. So your family and friends are there to keep you on the ground and to keep you humble. Then we come to personality, because you can change. And personality is really important as a DJ producer. You're actually a brand. Even though it doesn't sound that great, Julian Jordan is a brand. And I'm here to sell my brand to promoters who book me for a show, to my fans, to everyone. I have to sell my brand the best way. And a personality is really important. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, 
and I have to think about everything that I post. I have to think about everything that I do in my normal life as well. I can't do crazy stuff every day because then it will affect my brand. And that's what I have to think about, my personality. How do I need to look in front of my crowd? How do I want to look on the internet? How does my brand need to look to everyone? Personality is really important. And reinvent yourself. And that's really important as well as an artist, but also if you do a different business, try to stay fresh, try to do different stuff every day. Get out of your comfort zone, get out of the box that you're in. I have to make music different than my music that I made yesterday. I have to keep reinventing myself. If I would do the same thing all over again, it would get boring. So I have to reinvent myself, keep fresh, you know, get uh, inspired by other DJs maybe other guitar players, other drummers. I have to go to concerts from other DJs as well to check how it sounds. So reinvent yourself is also really important because you can't stay the same. You need to refresh yourself every day. My name is Julian Jordan, and I hope I teach you guys a lesson. Please note that I normally stand on a different stage, but I still hope I learned you guys a lesson. So thank you guys so much. Stop.